Cocorico! 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 Mm, he'll never learn. That French crying will make him crazy. Cocorico! Cocorico! It's cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo, do you get it? Oh my god! Cocorico! Cocorico! Oh, can't someone turn that terrible racket off? Stop, stop, stop right now. It's enough for you to wake us at the crack of dawn, and now you're ruining my midday nap. Shut up, you stupid foul. Who said this fell to me? That's a royal insult. Kakariko, <laughs> Kakariko. <laughs> Great, here we go. Come here, everyone, come here. Monsieur Lecoq and Herman want to fight. Cocorico! You, you paper tiger, I'll poke your eyes out. You inflated shrieker, I'll rip out your tail feathers. Oh, on your marks, get set. Five paces apart and stick to the rules. Everything's allowed. Yeah. Stop, 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 not yet. Wait, wait. Do you have everything, Gertrude? Band aid, iodine, syringe, bandages, disinfectant, instruments. Of course, Zora, everything there I can operate on the spot. As far as I'm concerned, they can start. All right then. Hmm. Would you just stop? Are you all crazy? You want to walk around with an eye patch like you did two weeks ago, right? Huh. Uh, like an old pirate. <laughs> and you, you stupid bird, look at yourself. Your tail feathers have hardly grown back, and you want to have them pulled out again. <laughs> <laughs> then you're too ashamed to be seen in public because you look like a plot chicken. Her men insulted me, and I can't allow that. That goes against my honor. What honor do you mean, you crazy Gallic macho? Ha! Alex always has to destroy everything. Just when I want to play hospital, all has gone up in smoke again. Stubborn German brain dog bun dog. And what are you doing crying here? It's midday. Ha! I have to make sure that everyone's awake when Mother Pig has her piglets. <laughs> Do you hear that? There was no need for you to screech. Matilda was going to warn us when the time came. That was all agreed upon. Oh, my goodness gracious me! Why didn't anybody tell me? Margot will surely need medical assistance. Uh, Gertrude never gives up. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Not yet, Margot. Wait, 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 wait for me. Are you crazy? Back, 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 back you go. You're freshly born. You're not allowed to go out. Go back now. Go back to your mother. Looks cure, doesn't it? But uh, very pinker. It hey, just happen to be pink. Uh, are you the only one? There are usually more of you. Me? I'm the first one, but a few more came after me. Then it got too cramped in there. They were all over my mama, so I decided to wait and drink later. So, here I am. Oh, a sensible piglet. Where have you ever heard of that? How many more are there of you? I'm not sure. I think one, two, nine, thirteen, twenty-seven? Well, it doesn't appear to be that smart after all. <laughs> Slap, you stay here. Huh? Here on the farm, there are rules that everyone has to abide by. And just so you know right from the start how things run, the first and most important rule is, I, Alex, am the boss. That's what you think. Uh, you just like to play the boss. It doesn't disturb me if he wants to play the boss, as long as he lets me play the nurse. Well, he's never done anything to you, so why complain? But he's always trying to boss me around. Right now, I'm the boss, and that's that. Boss that. Okay, 
Then the second rule is that every animal has a job that he has to do. And your job as a pig is to eat all the leftovers and get as fat as you can. And that mainly in the barn. Off with you. Rules are stupid. I do as I please, and now I'm going to take a look around. I need to know where I am. So there. At last, someone who will contradict Mr. Almighty. Okay, okay, that's enough. I think I've just decided to go to my mother. By the way, what's your name? Janice. Uh, Janice, stay here is what my mother said as I left the barn. Janice, well, we'll see about that. Seems to be different from the other piglets that I've seen so far. <laughs> Janice, there you are at last. You're off to a good start, hardly in this world a moment, and you're up to disappear. I'm thirsty. Now that's a good child. Drink up first and then lay down and join your brothers and sisters for a nap. But I'm not tired. I slept enough in your tummy to last me a lifetime. Janice, don't want to get started this way. Go and lay down with Dave, D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick, and Titch. Oh, leave a go. When I was young, Cop, I didn't want to sleep. And you seem quite in order. See you later. Have you ever seen anything like it? I've never had a child like this before. No one there. Well, I'll go and have a look around on my own. I'm not crying, and it doesn't hurt either. I don't need treatment. You don't understand anything. You are hurt, and I must treat you. Mama, <laughs> if you don't defend yourself against Gertrude, you'll soon be like a patchwork rug. <laughs> Why do you always clang like that? It gets on one's nerves terribly. Yeah, me too. But uh, do you know? Once I ran away and then couldn't find my way home, and the farmer had to look for me all night. <laughs> and because he doesn't want to do that again, he's hung this bell on me. <laughs> Why don't you take it off and only put it back on when you're lost? Ah, clever piglet, that's a great idea. I don't trust myself to jump or hop anymore because the clanging gives me a headache. But who'll take it off me? Ah, what a great feeling! Now, just leave it lying somewhere, and if you get lost, I can bring it to you. Then, you can ring it, and the farmer can find you. Smart of Janice. That idea could have come from me. And it isn't your idea. Could have been. But it isn't. Could have. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> 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 Will you stop? What are you doing there again? You're just here, keeping the others away from doing their chores. Is that what you think you can do here? Why, what job does Zora have? She must make the milk for the cheese. First class goat's cheese. <laughs> and you, Herman, what's your job? 
I see to it that the mice don't eat the sheep's cheese. And me, what's my job? Alex has already told you that you don't have a job. You just have to get big and fat so that you can be sold. Sold? Why sold? I don't want to be sold. Only when you are big. Then you go to another farm and have your own piglets there. And one day your babies will also have babies and so it continues and continues. Stop this useless discussion. March back to the barn. Don't get so excited. I just fancy going back to the barn myself. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. <laughs> Oh, that just can't be true. Now you've messed up the newly painted fence. <laughs> and now the farmer is going to scold <laughs> me for not having been on the watch. If you weren't so little, I would tan your behind. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, oh. Now look at you. Go and wash yourself immediately. Wash? Ick! I don't want to wash. Oh, if you go and wash, you can have a drink from me. Promise? All right. Good. Okay, I'll be right back. No way, Janice. You're a tame pig, not a wild pig. If wild pigs are allowed to roll around the mud, then I'm a wild pig. No, Janice. You are a tame pig and will remain a tame pig. So go and rub yourself clean in the grass. Ooh. Ooh. Matilda's calling. I have to go and get my milk. At least you're not as misbehaved as your little sister. You're good little pigs. That's enough, Janice. Leave Matilda alone. And if you lay down here with your brothers and sisters, I'll tell you a story, okay? Once upon a time, on a lovely farm, all the animals were happy. Alice is right. That French squawking in the morning is enough to drive you crazy. I think it's cool. Maybe the old cock will give me some French lessons. What's his name, anyway? He insists on being called Monsieur Lecoq. But we just call him the rooster. I think Monsieur Lecoq is nicer. Sounds cool somehow. You brought a right one into the world this time, Margot. Monsieur Lecoq, would you teach me French? A bit of course, uh, what do you want to learn? Uh, I know already what cockadoodle do is in French. It's a cuckoo, cuckoo, Very good, Janice. Uh, and you've gone completely crazy. But if Matilda was French, how would she moo? Hmm, uh, I have to think about that. Uh, it's been such a long time since I was uh, last in France. Hmm, I have it, uh, me, me. <laughs> It sounds almost like me. Meh, meh. What would Gertrude say? Uh, I remember very well as I uh, had a talk where I was born. Uh, she always said, uh, Quah. Quah, 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 quah. What's going on here? Are you trying to pull my leg? Quah, 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 quah. If you're going to imitate me, then do it correctly. It's quack, quack. And not quack, quack. We're learning French, and in French it's quack, quack. So stupid! Quah, quah. Oh, now everyone on this farm is quite off their head. It's intolerable. Janice is having French lessons with Monsieur Lecoq. It's so fun! <laughs> Janice, I should have known. Okay, where is she hiding? Janice, you dumb pig! That's my bowl! Pigs don't eat meat. You're supposed to eat the leftovers that the farmer leaves for you. Yeah, I just
just wanted to try it. You can eat it alone. It tastes horrible. When it happens to be pork. You, you, you cannibal murderer! What's going on here? Alex, Alex says that that's, that's pork in his bowl. Rubbish. That's normal canned dog food. It's a not the pork. But it says so right on the can. 40% pork. Yes. You can't always believe what's on the can. So shut up. Stupid dog enjoys giving me a shock. I'm not going to talk to him anymore. It says 40% on the can. What are you doing there? I, I couldn't bark or jump anymore when I had that stupid bell around my neck because of the headaches. Now I have to practice to get it all back. <laughs> and I'm waiting here in case Zora hurts herself that I can bandage it up for her. And why are you practicing bucking? Well, when Alex attacks me again, I can defend myself better. Oh, well, maybe we'll run away. That's good. I'll join you. Janice. Mama, Matilda, Mama, there was a giant, a monster, a fiend of... Take it easy, Janice. That was no monster and no fiend. That was the farmer. We all belong to him. But, but the farmer made terrible sounds. That's how people talk. I admit that it sounds threatening, but you'll get used to it and even learn to understand a few words. I was really afraid. Is he always so angry? Oh, no, he's not angry. He just wants each animal to do what it's supposed to do. Piglets are not supposed to be outside, hopping around and practicing bucking. I thought you understood me. Matilda's right. You'd better stay in the barn today or else the farmer will get very angry. Look, Dave, D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick, and Titch are all so good little piglets. Put the fence. That's where I'm going to, to make sure everything is in order. And that's when I ran away. Where did you run away from? What do we have here? A cheeky little piglet. I'm Janice, and you? I'm called Mr. Miller, and I'm passing through. And where are you traveling to? A farm? No way. You won't get me near a farm. That's what I've just run away from. And why did you? Oh, you poor silly little pig. You don't know what happens to us when we grow big like me. Oh, yes, I do. We're taken from here to go to another farm where we have babies of our own. Yes? Oh, oh you believe in that fairy tale. Although you appear to be quite smart. No, oh, Janice, that's all rubbish. We don't not get taken to a farm, but to a slaughterhouse. And there we get turned into sausage or schnitzel or chops or roast pork. Rubbish. My mother told me something completely different, and she should know because she experienced it herself. Yeah, but that happens very seldom. Most of us pigs get slaughtered. But you told me that we had to eat a lot so that I could have lots of babies later. Yes, well, that's, that's what I heard. Do you believe Mr. Miller? It's uh, hard to say. Uh, many pigs have been taken away, but no one has returned to tell us what happened exactly, you know. Well, whatever. But I'm not taking that risk. And if you were smart, you'd come along with me. You've been warned. Where are you going now? I'm not so sure. I've heard that there are pigs in the woods. <laughs> well, they don't belong to anyone. Not to anyone. Those are wild pigs. My mama told me about them. They're allowed to roll in the mud as long as they like. And anyway, they can do anything they like. Is that true? Exactly. They can do or not do whatever they like. And no one tells them to behave like a pig. Bye-bye. Bye. Hmm. And what 
if what Mr. Miller says is true, and that's why I should get big and fat to be turned into pork chops later. Oh, look, we're getting visitors. Alex, you said that you understood that gibberish. What are they talking about? Oh, I've just arrived, and I've no idea what's happening yet. Oh, now it's time to go back to the barn. What's this about? Something's wrong here. Hey, put me down. You've just been sold, Janice, to the man in the truck. But I'm not big and fat, and I can't have babies myself yet because, well, I'm practically a baby anyway. I'm sure I'm not mistaken. But I don't want to leave here. I don't think the man wants to take you today. You'll probably wait until you're big and has just chosen you. <laughs> help! 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 <laughs> Can you hear me, Janice? Janice? Yes. Mr. Miller was right, but he didn't know everything either. They don't only take big pigs. Sometimes they take little ones, too, like you. You're supposed to become a roast suckling pig. That's what Alex says. I don't know what that is exactly, but it sounds dangerous. You'd better run away. Run away now. But how? Help me, please. A short life. Poor Janice. to Mr. Miller and go with him, but now it's too late. What am I gonna do? I have to think of something. Oh, another one. It's getting damn crowded in here. It's about time that they sell us. It stinks in here. Sell us? Are you crazy? They're not gonna sell us. They're going to kill us. We must run away! Oh, rubbish! Run away! We're to be sold and go to a nice farm. That's not true. We're all to be killed. Alex heard them, and Mr. Miller. He told me so, too. Killed? What rubbish are you talking about? Where do you think all the baby pigs come from? Look, there! They're selling the first of us. Bye now, be gone. Oh, he'll never get to a farm. Stop your moaning. There's really no need to be afraid. But I am afraid. Look around you. If those aren't dead pigs, then I don't know. I'm off. And if you don't want to come with me, you can at least help me, okay? If you already want to rush into disaster, that's okay with us. And then it won't be so crowded in here. So what do you want us to do? Place yourself so that I can climb up over your backs. Then I can jump up over the railing. And you'll kill yourself. Pigs can't climb or jump. I can. I practice bucking and jumping with Zora, our goat. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. They're coming to get another one of us. Get in place. <laughs> 
That pig really can jump. Janice. You really look like a pig. Are you having a good time? I have never been better. I tell you, it was the best decision I ever made to become a wild pig. And I look better every day. I would love to join you. May I? But of course. And believe me, to be a wild pig is a real pig's life. You'd best start straight away. Come on. Wait a minute. I have to go and tell my friends at the farm that I'm okay. They're bound to be worried. Do you want to come also? All right, let's go. What do you think? Is Janice dead already? Just shut up. Janice isn't dead. Janice is a clever little pig. She won't let them slaughter her so easily. And don't you dare eat canned food again. Why not? You said it contains 40% pork. That could be 40% of Janice. <sighs> oh, stop it. I still don't believe you. Janice is bound to be on some nice farm and doing very well. Kokoroko! Kokoroko! There she comes. There comes Janice. Oh, Janice! Janice! I told you that Janice is a smart piglet. Well, thank God. Now I can continue to eat canned food. Did anything happen to you? I must examine you immediately. Janice, just look at you. Go and get washed up immediately. I don't need to wash anymore, and I can't stay here either. Otherwise, another car will come and take me away, and whether I can escape again, I don't know. No, I'm going with Mr. Muller. But what do you want to do? Janice will come with me and become a wild pig like I have. I promise you, Margot, that I'll look after your daughter until she's big enough to look after herself. Yes, I suppose that would be best for Janice. She would never have really become a house pig. Well then, I'm off, and thanks again for everything. And Dave, Dee, Dozy, Beaky, Mitch, and Titch, if a truck ever comes to take you away, then escape. You know where to find me. Back there, somewhere in the forest. Bye, Bye, Janice. Janice. Bye, Bye, Janice. Bye, Janice. Bye, Janice. Bye, Janice. Bye, Janice. Bye, Janice. Behave yourself. Bye-bye. All the best. Now, come along, Janice. I know that farewells are hard, but think of the glorious wild pig's life that lies ahead of us. Let's go. Mm -hmm.